change management. In an organization, in a firm, in a group of friends, in a family, or in a relationship, there will always be times when something just isn't working. What do you do about that? You can't just leave the situation like that. You have to change something. And this change should be managed properly and systematically, without planning the process, implementing your solution and monitoring result, you only cause a mess. So let's go through what are the most important parts of change management in an organization. First, obviously, you have to define what is happening in your organization, get to know the system and the culture so that you can request a change. Without knowing your long-term mission and the goals of the teams, you only cause confusion. Before you start messing up everything, ask yourself two simple questions. 1. Is it really necessary? 2. Can I convince co-workers that it is necessary? Second, be aware of the impact of your actions. Is it going to cost a lot? Is it going to last long? To keep it simple, what do I cause by implementing my changing plans? The next step would be the discussion of the process with your partners, with the board and with employees. You know, you never work alone, they have to be part of the process as well. Especially if you are not allowed to make decisions on your own. You ask your boss anyway, don't you? Finally, you have to implement change. Sure, this is the most important and most complicated one. But this is part of the process, so don't forget why you go through all of it. Also remember, devil is in the details. Be clear, be consistent, be brave. We are done. You see, it wasn't that complicated. The change happened, the only thing you have to do after the process is the monitoring and reviewing part. If you did everything well, you can enjoy that your team, organization or family works better. This was our solution. What would be yours? Tell us in the comment section and see you in two weeks.